What is hacking? Why do people hack? Popular culture has painted hackers as outlaws that need to be feared. But is it really something to be scared of? Do you really know what it means to hack? Well, hopefully this video will shed some light on this dark side of computing. According to the mainstream view of hackers, the hacking subculture's sole purpose is to exploit computers for legal reasons and to steal people's information. While there are people out there whose main intention is to steal people's information, this isn't what the hacking community is really about. But let's come back to that. First let's define what a hacker is. Simply put, it means to use technology for purposes other than what it was meant for. That doesn't sound threatening at all, does it? This definition doesn't even mention computers. In fact, the hacker origin starts with an MIT model train club that would hack their electric trains to make them run faster. Then hacking moved to payphones, creating the first hacker outlaws, and then it moved to computers. According to one of the first Hello. computer hackers and inventor of the Apple computer, Steve Wozniak, hacking was the necessity of invention, and its purpose was making a difference for humanity. Hackers were well-admired experts in the fields of engineering and programming whose latest hacks were always looked upon in awe by the computer community. Aside from the Apple computer, the original computer hackers brought forth other inventions like programming languages, open source software, the Linux operating system, and the World Wide Web. That's right, Tim Berners-Lee was a hacker. And without these hackers, there would be no internet today. These guys were considered to be white hat hackers. All of them who enjoy the intellectual challenge of circumventing limitations, but do it within the confines of the law. Uh -huh. But in later decades, people would enjoy hacking for the same intellectual challenge, but they would do it illegally. They are what's referred to as black hat hackers, or better known as crackers. Black hat hackers are what the public fears. These are the ones that create worms, viruses, still data, etc. The core of the white hat and black hat hackers are generally the same. They're both generally self-taught programming and engineering prodigies that try to circumvent limitations. But black hat hackers go a step further by then trying to attack the bodies that put those limitations in place. Hence the rise of Anonymous, the outlaws of the government and the Robin Hoods of the computer underground. The hacking community is one that is fresh with innovation and creativity while encouraging outside-of-the-box thinking. It isn't all bad. So get to know what hacking is. Real hacking. Start by taking a look at the Hacker Manifesto found at the link below and How to Become a Hacker by Eric Raymond, author of the New Hacker's Dictionary. Go, get to it. If you're waiting on me to teach you, you've already failed the first test.